are you looking for a simple game that's still challenging and wonderful to look at? Well, wait till you see what I got for you today. Hello everyone and welcome to another I Pick My Butt video. Today we have Super Starfish. And immediately when I started playing this game, I thought, wow, these graphics are pretty cool. Now I will say, I played this game for about an hour and unlocked a whole bunch of stuff and then went to go make this video and realized, shoot, I never hit the record button. When you start the game off, you begin with one fish and the purpose of the game is to grab those blue stars and avoid anything falling, hitting you, lasers. And you will get these shells that if you get 200 of them, you can unlock a volcano thing and that'll be your access to getting a couple of the other fish. It seems like once a day, you will also see gems in there, and those gems can be used to speed up the progress of things, also unlock things, and you can remove some stones on your, I don't know if you'd call it your headquarters, your fun little cove area, let's call it. Now, every time you get more fish, the cove does expand. You plant the plants on it, and the plants will grow over time, and not really sure what they do. We'll have to keep an eye open at future videos to see what the purpose of the plants are. Unlocking new areas is kind of random, but once you get about midway through it, you'll see a green camera. And if you get that, that's going to kind of take a picture. It stores a card in your albums, and that's kind of a way to say you're going to see that area a little bit more frequently than you would before. If you take a look in that top left hand corner, you could see my high score of 1,178. And the way I achieved that was the more stars you get in a short period, you'll start to stack a combo. I had that combo plus a two time star, and I didn't even realize I was doing that good, but it was like, wow, that's a pretty darn good score. Seems like all the games nowadays are offering some type of ads. Watch the 30 second ad, and that'll give you about 25 of those shells to kind of speed things up. Now let's take a look at the bonus game here, which is done by those 200 to get in that volcano. And if you can see, it just kind of bounces back and forth. Those blue circles there, if we get inside there, that's gonna take us into a bonus bonus round and unlock some rare fish. So it looks like I just missed the last and final fish on that one there, but we'll keep on playing and see if we can get some more unlocked because I am not too certain what's gonna happen when I get that last one. Throughout the game, keep an eye on the clam because he will be able to get tapped and he kind of gives you a chance to win a couple of shells. You have to pick between the three. When I first started playing, I hit the max on my first three of them, which was awesome. It really helped me speed up the game. Now, after you pick the first one, you can watch, once again, a short video and then you'll have a chance between the other two. So it's kind of a quick way to speed up the progress of the game. Unfortunately though, every time I try it, I cannot get this last fish. It's driving me crazy. So let's show you a couple of the different fish here. Now the gameplay for each one, I at first seemed to think that each one did a little bit different. It kind of felt that way. But after playing some more, I think it's just more of a visual thing. Um, still though, it's kind of cool having different ones to choose from. I really enjoyed it. And... I think I like the rare one I've got best, which you'll see here in a second. He's pretty cool. There's something about his tail that just keeps me wanting to pick him every time. So when you get enough fish, they start filling up kind of this fish constellation. There's a couple of different ones. I don't have them all unlocked so I could see, but I'm really curious to see what happens when you fill one up. Do you get a special fish? Is there some sort of prize that you get? I'm guessing I just have to play this game to kind of figure out more. But overall, there's a bunch of cards for the areas that you unlocked. You get one for your best score. And other than that, try the game out. Now, if you're enjoying this video, once again, hit that like button. And if you want to see more like this, hit that subscribe button. But if I had to give this a rating on my I Pick My Butt scale, I'd probably say this is definitely a full four fingers for this one too. So check me out on Patreon and check me out on my Twitter. I'll probably be getting a Facebook page soon if you want to leave comments on there. But once again, as always, thanks for watching the video. And remember, I pick my butt.